we couldn't help but cover this. Uh, the new year, it was rang in. For some reason, many of the cable news networks believe that people want to watch them while they are ringing in the new year. And I guess if you're at least going to go to the trouble of doing a new year show, should you not then engage in a countdown, um, you know, and actually with the revelry, the ball drop, or if you don't have the ball drop, some sort of big celebration of the moment. Instead, um, CNN's Don Lemon actually did not ring in the new year at all. They forgot the countdown, presumably because of the uh, time zone difference, because they were in New Orleans. They had music that was going on and completely did not acknowledge the change of the new year in any way. Let's take a listen. That's how we started. That's how we started. Ooh. Y'all ready for this countdown? So <laughs> yeah. you missed the countdown. I missed the countdown. <laughs> and as you said, Crystal, they're not even allowed to drink anymore. So he can't even blame being wasted. He was just straight up bad at his job. You know, I think we need to end these cable news once. We need to have one, maybe two. I personally, I watched the Miley and Dolly Parton show. It was in fun. I enjoyed it. Um, you know, Miley and Dolly, they're entertainers. They're exactly the people who I want to ring the new year in uh, with. Why would anyone want to watch CNN's Don Lemon do this? And I guess the only previous time was with Anderson Cooper and Kathy Griffin is when they were getting completely wasted on the air. And people were like, OK, well, you know, this is at least kind of amusing and fun. But he wasn't even drunk. He had was completely sober and he was completely unable to ring in the new year. I think it's a metaphor uh, for CNN and for the future of that network, hopefully in this year. Or maybe I'm just projecting one of my New Year's resolutions onto them. I, I hope so. I hope so. It's like you had one job, <laughs> one job to let people know when it is midnight, do a little <laughs> countdown. That's it. That's the whole reason that people were there and you failed at it. I mean, I would love to fully blame Don Lemon, but I can't because I really think this is more of a, like you should have a producer telling oh, you yeah. we need to throw to the countdown now. And it's possible, listen, having been in the studio that it was like loud and you didn't hear or whatever, but what an incredible fuck up that you missed the midnight countdown on New Year's Eve. So um, perfect way, perfect way for CNN to ultimately ring in the new year. Yeah. I didn't know that Dolly Parton and Miley said, do they do that every year? They do a thing uh, it every was on year. Peacock. You know, I'm, I'm um, a huge, you know, um, Dolly fan. So that right. I might, I might be willing to watch. So you're looking at a cord. Also, I was staying in an Airbnb, uh, with my friends, literally, you know, it's every classic Airbnb has like Roku TV or whatever. And I was like, Oh, Peacock. And then it was, I seen the day before it was like Miley and Dolly part. I was like, Oh, that looks fun. Uh, uh this, this will be an interesting one. They did a great job. So shout out to Miley and to, uh, nice. to Dolly Parton for helping me personally ring in the new year. <laughs> yeah. So Kyle hadn't watched game of Thrones. So I've been rewatching okay. game of Thrones with him. So we watched two Game of Thrones episodes. The second one got us to 1201. And then I was I was out. I was actually shocked. I even made it. I, I even made it to midnight, to be honest with you. So there you go. I was proud of that's myself funny. for that. <laughs> well, that's how the two of us rang in uh, the new year. I'm, I can't say I lasted too far long um, after 12, but that was uh, largely because of activities that were partook in earlier in the earlier. In the anyway, <laughs> it was a uh, it was a fun time. Shout out again to the city of Austin for treating me very, very well. And may we have more, many more CNN failures to come in 2023. Hey guys, ready or not, 2024 is fully upon us now. And Sagar and I have been brainstorming ways that we can really up our game for this critical election. Yeah, we rely on our premium subs to expand our coverage, to add staff, to upgrade the studio. We just want to give you the best independent coverage of this election, which is possible. So if you can help us out, become a premium subscriber today, breakingpoints.com, or the link is down here in the description video. It really means the world to us. And if you like what we're all about. This is the best possible way to keep us 100% independent, working only for you.